We find ourselves in second position. Uh, without looking at the scorecard, I'm guessing it's about six or so points behind the French crew, and we're not sure where third place is exactly. The competition is amazing. I, I would say there's probably any one of 15 boats could win a regatta. Uh, and even when you go to the Olympic Games, it'll be much the same about any one of them could win a medal, a medal as well. So it's a, it's amazing competition we have in the 470 men's fleet. And it ain't look like it's gonna ease off in the next year or so. <laughs> Oh, we're very happy, very happy with this week. Um, we've worked hard, um, the conditions are very challenging, but we're very happy to win. For the next two major events, it's going to be the Aussies because we've got to secure a place in the Aussie team before we even look to come to the Paralympic Games. So we've got two really tough competitors in our Australia counterparts and that's, that's who we've really got to beat for the next two competitions. But so. so when it comes to the Games, it'll be Nikki Birrell and the, and the Brits in the GBR team. So that'll, that'll be a really good competition going forwards when it comes to the Games. <laughs> yeah, it was a windy week and it was perfect except for the rain today. <laughs> but uh, yes, it was a big, big fight because uh, we was uh, uh, 34, 2.4 and everybody was here and big nivel and uh, yes, I'm really happy to win. Yeah, it was good. We uh, set a target of winning a medal. Um, obviously, obviously, this event is part of the selection process for us. And um, yeah, we uh, sort of sailed well beginning the week and carried it through, so it was a good week. Yeah, confidence is, you know, is good, but um, you know, if you look at the fleet today, you know, there's probably eight to ten boats that could actually win a race. So, you know, it's just about just chipping away, getting those results and, and uh, winning the medal at the end of the week. Have a good time.